All right, fans, listen up. Blind Spotting is finally back for season two. It recently won the TV Spotlight Audience Award at South by Southwest mm. and bringing plenty of personality to the show is the character Trish. Take mm -hmm. a look. Yeah. <gasps> Bow. With this, I can take up to three guests to the front of every line. Oh my God, y'all, this is so wrong, okay? Why we didn't just get fast passes? Because they're $300 each. Uh, uh, okay, why are y'all making such a big deal out of this? It is a life hack, okay? Look, y'all don't ever use the big handicap star in the bathroom. No. Really? Really? Okay, well, this is the same thing. <laughs> Joining uh, us is the actress who breathes oh life into the character, Jalen Barron. So good morning. Good to see you here on the couch. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. This I appreciate hilarious. it. hilarious. Such a hilarious She's show. a character. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's a, Anything a, like you? No. In real life? Okay. You know, it's, you know, I would like to think that like some of the aspects of my personality is similar to Trish, but I'd also like to not yeah, be yeah, Trish yeah. all the time. Right, right. I'm a little bit more quiet and a little bit more reserved than her, but okay. you know, we accept her for who she is. She's yeah. the go-to girl. Right. You call her up hey where are we going where are we at trish is your girl not me <laughs> i'm in the corner i'm sitting down i'm the homebody <laughs> all right the show finally back for season two right took a bit of a hiatus uh two year hiatus against the pandemic and things like that right mm -hmm. so what's it like to be back working with the cast once again i mean it's fun they're like you know we are it sounds very cliche but we really are a big family yeah i care about them so much rafael david uh jess keith everybody who created the show they have such a brilliant mind and they're so caring and passionate about their actors and what we do that you feel extremely comfortable coming to them with any problems mm -hmm. or solutions that you have with your character. Yeah. And I mean, it's just a really enjoyable set and it felt like I never left. That's yeah. awesome. Well, we don't, we don't want to give too much away, but no. what's up for Trish this season? Mm. Oh, she's matured. Oh. Mm. Yes, okay. I know. I mean, I know from that clip it doesn't really seem like it, <laughs> but she has, I promise you. Um, and she's grown into herself more. She's starting to take off that aggressive mask that she had in season one, starting to be a bit more vulnerable but then of course uh, she brings it back up yeah um and I mean, she's growing her business and you know becoming a woman and trying this new journey and trying things out like we all oh, do. So love yeah. It. yeah, you know, and and critics are are praising the show for how it really talks about the the prison system here mm -hmm. in the country, right? Yeah. So because from the looks of it, it's a comedy, but it's such an important topic for so many. So what's your thoughts on the aspect of that? I mean, I think it's really important, and I hope that it changes fans' perspective mm -hmm. of you know people who have those kinds of lifestyles. You know, um, somebody who's in the um, dancing industry. Mm -hmm. You know in any other type of industry that people might have a preconceived notion about, mm. mm -hmm. that they're able to put their guard down and be like, you know what, maybe I will give these people a chance because in our community, the black and brown community, we were on survival mode for so long mm -hmm. yeah. and on guard that, you know, we're like, we're trying to do anything to make money and trying to survive and keep our family alive. And I think this will bring a really good perspective for people to be like, maybe I will hire them. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to give them a chance because we're just trying to survive. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're just trying to make it. And it's really important to me. And I'm glad I'm able to be on a show that is portraying that message. And I mean, it's something that I, you know, really believe in and I hold really close to my oh, heart. Yeah. Well, it's wonderful. It's a responsibility. It right? is. Yeah. yeah. Well, we know you're a West Coast girl now living on the East Coast for work. Yes. What's your favorite part about living in the city or oh living near gosh. the city? I think it's probably the food options that <laughs> yes. are 24 seven. And it's it's fun everywhere you go, you know, and I really love dumplings. I love, you know, noodles and ramen. And there's so yes. many beautiful places yes. to eat at. And there's so many different cultures here. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun to learn from each other. Yeah. You guys are really blessed to be able to grow up and have everybody around you down the street, down the block. I'm going to take you to a place pie. in Jersey called Pasta Ramen, combining Italian Wait. and ramen. Oh, you ready to go? I, I know. I want. I looked it up on TikTok. Oh, you're going. I saw it. I need to make a reservation for it. It's good. I have well, a he's going to go. Oh, next month. go together? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. No, we'll, call, talk. we'll talk. Oh, All right, gosh. Jill. That sounds so good. Yeah, Thanks for true. coming on. It's great to have you. Good luck with the new season. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Jalen Olson. You can check her out as Trish on Blindspotting on Stars and the Stars app.